Welcome to Hoax Hunter. I'm John Rasmus. Billy Meyer is the subject of this episode. Billy Meyer is a guy who claims he is the ambassador for the planet Earth on behalf of some extraterrestrials from the Pleiades, known as Pleiadians. I broke a story in 2004 concerning Billy Meyer and his supposed time travel photograph of a dinosaur. Now, a lot of people reposted my photograph that I took. I had a website back in 2004 called Space Time News, and that's where I posted the article and photographs. I've noticed a lot of people have recirculated my Space Time News photographs. Some people took the Space Time News tag off of it. Some people found the book and took their own photographs. But I was the first person to ever get a copy of this book, Life Before Man, find the painting that Billy Meyer took a photograph of in this book, match it up, and prove that Billy Meyer's photo is not that of an actual dinosaur. On page 129, this dinosaur, which looks a lot like a pterodactyl, but is really a pterodon, this pterodon painting, which was painted for this book, it's a very obscure book, which is why no one has been able to match it up until I matched it up in 2004. I came across it when I was simply searching for pterodactyls and pterodons to try to match up Billy Myers' photo, knowing that he has a record of matching up things that are very normal and everyday household objects. For example, Billy Meyer took a photograph of two models on a television screen, and he claimed they were two Pleiadian extraterrestrials. And he was busted, and the two models have been matched up exactly. And so I did play a small part in the continuing busting of Billy Meyer. Now, he's been busted many times before me and many times after me. Uh, he's known as the garbage can flying saucer man because a lot of his flying saucer models were created with everyday household objects, such as a garbage can lid. And Billy Meyer is from Switzerland, and, and Swiss garbage can lids are very specific. They don't look like American garbage can lids. Totally busted. I mean, those garbage can lids are very specific. The only garbage can lids in the world that look exactly like Billy Meyer's flying saucers happen to be Swiss garbage can lids. The list goes on and on and on and on and on. Billy Meyer's been busted a million times. They matched up the little toy, little toy laser gun that he used. They've matched up the models. They've matched up many, many, many things. I think at this point, the biggest f joke concerning Billy Meyer would be his spokesman, Michael Horn. Michael Horn is a total, a total uh, peddler of nonsense. It's his job to make money off of Billy Meyer, I guess. I don't know if it's a good deal for Meyer. I, Meyer's the one doing all the work. Now, Meyer hasn't produced any new things lately, but that's because he's kind of a retired hoaxer. I mean, Meyer invented certain processes for hoaxing flying saucer photos. A few people claiming, oh, even Steven Spielberg couldn't film a UFO that good. Uh, hello? Are you looking at the same video I'm looking at? Because the video I'm looking at looks like a toy dangling from a fishing line. And when you enhance any video in any photo, you can see the fishing line, except in the cases where the top of the saucer is cut off and it's too close, or in, except in the case when the saucer is affixed to a fake tree. So Meyer was very creative with uh, faking flying saucer photos. He definitely used a lot of different techniques of little miniature model fake tree next to real trees in the background, fishing line, just having it real close and holding it and just not showing the part where he's holding it over a car, you name it. He has created a lot of different hoaxed photos, but when he claims he's a time traveler in, in a beam ship and that took him back to the past and that this pterodon dinosaur, he took out the window of a flying saucer, you know, that's when I got a little interested in the story, researched it for five seconds, found that book, matched it up like that. It was very easy. I casually tried to match up the other dinosaur, which looks kind of like a brontosaurus, 
but I haven't been able to match that one up. Uh, it's probably in a similar book. As far, as far as this book, this book was printed before Billy Meyer took the dinosaur photo. And in addition to that, this book is very rare. But this book was printed in Czechoslovakia. Copyright is Prague. It's definitely a, a European book that would have circulated in Switzerland, which is why Billy Meyer had a copy. So I emailed Michael Horn, and he emailed me back, and he was very rude. I'm not going to show all the emails, but I am going to show a tiny excerpt just to give you a gist of the type of guy Michael Horn is. Here is just an example excerpt of the type of things Michael Horn says to someone who has evidence and proof that Meyer is not legit. From John Rasmus to Michael Horn, November 12th, 2005. I can say it is definitive proof that one of the dinosaur photos is of a painting and not of a dinosaur taken as Meyer was in a time-traveling beam ship as Meyer claims. Just take a look at the painting in comparison with the photo. They are the exact same. As if that wasn't enough, the painting is in or near Switzerland. Case closed. Tell our position and stick to it. The case is real or a hoax. As for the photos, if you were at all educated, you'd know two important things. Many of Meyer's photos, the ones that have been scientifically analyzed, have been shown to be authentic. Two, some photos were indeed manipulated, substituted, etc. If people will try to kill a man 21 times, don't you think they just might want to discredit him too? Or did I make the mistake putting you and Think together? And for what it's worth, slander is bottom feeder that you are. I've done 26 years of research, travel writing, correspondence, and dealing with bozos like you for free. I.e. at my expense. You're as stupid as you were the first time you wrote, which actually makes you more so. You can't disprove my evidence, so instead you resort to calling me names? Very mature. Didn't your mother teach you anything? You may be a bitter old man, but your words are reminiscent of a child who is unable to admit when he's wrong. You don't have much of a sporting attitude. You sound more like a sore loser. If anything, these emails are proof that you don't take the case seriously yourself. If you did, you would attempt to look at the evidence I provided at a serious logical angle and at least attempt to disprove it. I don't believe you even believe Meyer yourself, but you parade his stories to the world while Meyer himself makes no money. You get rich at his expense. Mr. Horn, do you believe people actually take your work seriously? Coast to Coast AM is an entertainment show, and George, our art, will admit there's a lot of crap that gets on the air, such as you. From Michael Horn to John Rasmus, November 13th, 2005. Your email is being answered automatically as it contains irrational, illogical information based on imaginary beliefs and misguided thinking. This system will forward logical, sensible correspondence to Mr. Horn, but cannot allow idiotic to contaminate rational thinking. We thank you for your time. So that's the type of person Michael Horn is. I did not Photoshop this photo of Michael Horn as Gollum from Lord of the Rings, but it's very fitting. He definitely acts like Gollum from Lord of the Rings. And he definitely acts like Meyer is his golden ring. Even though he knows Meyer's information is bogus, he will swear up and down that it's true because his income depends on it. So I understand where he's coming from, but I personally would never engage in such deception. Maybe he considers himself a spokesman for a stand-up comedian. That is retired. I would say Billy Meyer is a very talented old man and uh, he definitely has a creative imagination even making up stories that the men in black are after him. But uh, it's pretty obvious the men in black are not after him. I'm not one of the men in black. I'm not after you Billy. I'm not after Michael Horn. I'm just here to bring light to the attention that I did independently of anyone else find evidence and proof that Billy Meyer is a storyteller and nothing more than a storyteller. And that his stories happen to be hoaxes. Aside from his hoax stories, it is an interesting... I mean, if he wrote a science fiction novel, maybe he would have more success. So he can pursue that, hopefully. But we're just about out of time, so I thank you for watching. This has been John Rasmus with Hoax Hunter. Be seeing you.